back to our journeyman save with IFK Gutberg and today is a very very big day we have made it to the group stages of the Europa League um, this is our first time in Europe um, IFK Gutberg do have a good history in Europe um, when this we're talking about years ago um, but again we are in the present time and we have made it to the group stages and today's game is an away game against Dynamo Kiev but before we do that, let's go straight into the schedule and let's see what's happened from the last game we played. So from the last game we played, um, if I remember, it was, bit, it was, oh, who did we play again? I've actually forgotten now who we played. Let's have a look. Yeah, it was the 2-1 <clears throat> victory against uh, BK Hakan. And good, as you can see, we've gone on a good run here. We've won all our games and then we can see we beat Locomotive away from home, 1-0. And then we drew back with in their ground, our, our, our ground, sorry, 1-1. One, one. Uh, unfortunately, against No Coping, we did drew 0-0. Nil, nil. Um, a very frustrating game. <clears throat> but that's how we go. Again, what's happened, which is very frustrating, our top goal scorer, Lucas Gomez, came back from injury and managed to injure himself again. So he's out for another 46 weeks. So he's probably missing um, the whole of the season, if I'm honest with you. And this is not what we want, but we can't, there's nothing we can do. Let's look at the group that we're in. So we've got Dan Kiev, uh, We've got Zal Giris. And we have Vit um, Gramares. If that's Gramares, if that's how you pronounce them. So <clears throat> you would possibly feel that it's a decent, decent group. Uh, it could have been worse. Today's game is against Dynamo Kiev. Um, I'm not too sure what to what to get from this game. Um, all I can say is just try. All I can say is good luck, lads. We just see how the boys get on today. That's all I can say. <clears throat> but second place, first second place, getting out of the of the group stage is what we want. But we'll see. But it's Garanich with the ball. He plays it into Simon, I believe. Um, Garanich seems to run away from it. Um, <clears throat> but it's Dynamo Kiev with their attack at the moment. Now, can we hit, count, hit them with the counter? No, they have the ball inside the box. They take the shot and right over the bar. So we do need to be a bit careful there. So we definitely know <clears throat> what Dynamo Kiev can do on the break. So we need to be careful. If we can get out of the group stages and go to the knockout stages, that will be beautiful for me. That's more than enough. Um, and that should do good for us financially as well. But let's just see how today's games go. At the moment, we haven't really got started. Um, and the highlight has fallen to them. But we've got the ball with Smith with the ball. Plays a long ball over. And Adebayo's on the ball there on the left-hand side. He's, Adebayo's been a bit iffy as well. A bit. Wernerson with the ball. Plays it back to Adebayo. Adebayo lays it off to Olsen. Olsen does, can, can strike it. He does whip it and just pass the post. Unlucky. <clears throat> back to Adebayo. Again, <clears throat> he's a young boy. So, you know, you, you I guess... You have to expect that there will be uh, inconsistency in his game. Um, but I would prefer more consistency with him. But I guess that just hasn't happened with him. He is still quite young. Uh, I believe he's 19. Um, so, yeah, let's see how it goes. But it's a throw in and Smith throws the ball into Garanich's feet. Back to Smith. Smith plays it into Gigovic. Back to Olsen. Olsen wants to take the shot again. No, he whips it over. But it goes straight into Wernerson. who has the ball. He can whip it in. But he plays Adibayo and what a strike. John Adibayo rifles that to the top corner. Co-keeper has no chance whatsoever. Seven goal this season, assisted by Victor Wernersen. And just as I talk about Adibayo being consistent, he goes and does that. Maybe I should talk a bit more about them and maybe <clears throat> things will change. But good start so far. We are away from home. Same, it is 1-0. But we are going to get carried away. It's still a lot of game to be played. A lot of minutes to be played. So, but at the moment, we've had four shots, two on target. Seems to be a lot of action going on. <clears throat> but it is a kick over. Right. No. Oh, gosh. They're on the attack now. Wow. They take the shot straight into Anastasia's hands. I'm very, very lucky there. Um, anything could have happened there. So, we need to be careful 
we probably should be more narrow but i'm gonna leave things as it is um but like i said four shots two on target and possession mainly with us with 58 percent um <clears throat> but let's see how this goes so far 26 minutes have gone but it is an action pack first half a lot of action has been shown um <clears throat> But at the moment, we seem to be holding our own. De Grasa is on 71%, so we do need to be a bit careful there. Make sure he doesn't get too tired. And from being tired, that can cause issues with maybe mistakes. Because he might be too tired to get back. Too tired to make that last ditch tackle, run, pass, you name it. Verreto's got a yellow card. Um, need to be a bit careful there. Um, let's just tell them to just ease off that. 38 minutes have gone. And it's a Dan McKeer throw. And they managed to throw it. Um, Sidibi, who used to, who basically plays for Everton in real life. Um, he's on the right-hand side. But we managed to take the ball off them. But they still have the ball. We managed to, oh, okay, Garanich. Okay, you got rid of it. That's the main thing. A bit more composure from Garanich there would have been needed there. And that's a good touch by the Dan McKeer player. But we're pushing them back. We are pushing them back. There you go. Degrassa with the with the header, Garanich with a long ball over, didn't really need to do that, Garanich, you know, <clears throat> didn't need to do that, but we're piling under pressure so far, but, you know, there is definitely a Dynamo Kiev goal in this game, I believe, um, I definitely don't think we'll hold, hold on long enough, but they have the ball in our box, we managed to take the ball off them, but they managed to still do the throw, and as I said, there was bound to be a goal, Verbic with the goal and funny enough is his first goal of the season <clears throat> which always seems to be the case with football manager but that's poor goalkeeping go poor goalkeeping though man let's see this again he has the ball Smith makes the tackle but it's not fully and oh Vernerson I think didn't jump up for that Right, let's um, demand more. <clears throat> the issue is, is that we've got Andrew Andy White there and he's just not good enough. So, what do we do? Um, I'm going to change his, his role into an advance forward. And let's see how that goes from there. But Garanic is playing a terrible game. Gigovic is playing a terrible game. 6.5. Um, this is exactly not what we want. <clears throat> I guess a draw is not bad, but still... Um, we need to do better. Defense is not having the best of games. Besides Winnerson, defense are playing an average six point six. Um, Gigovic is playing a six point four, which is never good. Um, I'm not gonna tell them they're playing excellent. I am going to be aggressive, and I'm gonna say I'm not happy with your performances. They seem to have been motivated by that. Uh, we need something better, but we're basically playing with eleven man when we have Andy White up front. Um. <clears throat> I just definitely feel that this will be our last season um, having him at the club. He's just not good enough, if I'm honest with you. Just not good enough. Um, Gigovic is playing a, a 6.4. Um, that's not good enough. Um, let's shout at the... Boy, let's get creative. But I want to look at this team instructions. Um, we're going to work ball into the box. We seem to have a lot of joy in the whips. So let's definitely do that. Um, tempo, let's just build it back to a, to a slightly higher. Play for set pieces. We are not bad at set pieces. In transition, I think that's fine. Out of possession, let's go wider. And we're just not going to prevent because that could just take us out of possession. <clears throat> and 51 minutes have gone. We've had 10 shots. Three on target. They've had 11 and six on target. We need to definitely make a change. But where we make the change, I'm not too sure. Garanich is not having the best of games. I may want to put on... Um, actually, what I am going to do... Let's pause it there. Um, let's let's run at them. Um, hopefully, hopefully, by running at them, um, what is going to happen is that hopefully one of their, their players on the yellow card will try to try to tackle us and hopefully from there they might get a red card okay we need to make a substitution now Olsen's not having the best of games now it seems um let's make a change let's make our first change of today first change of today what are we going to do um Garanich 
I'm going to play you as a... No wonder... Wait, no, no, no. That's fine. Deep line playmaker for him. That's fine. And we're going to put Daniel in the attacking midfielder role. And I'm hoping that that makes some sort of difference. Um, I'm hoping so. You know what? We might have to go 4-2... Oh, wait. We're already 4-2-3-1. I forgot. Um, I'm not too sure what's going to happen now. 62 minutes have gone. Which way is it going to go? Um, but it is a highlight to Dynamo Kiev and this is not what we want. And it's Ojo with the ball on the right-hand side. He passes it into Sidibi. Sidibi keeps on running and this is not looking good. Sidibi still has the ball. Don't foul him. We managed to header it out and it's Garanich again. He just, he just kicks it. Garanich just kicks it. What is he doing? Oh, he puts us... Oh, come on. No, no, no foul. No foul. Ah. And Verbeek again with the goal. This is just a joke, you know. Garanich is... Nah. Garanich needs to come off. Um, wait. Oh, about to say. Um, Garanich needs to come off. I think his days may be numbers at this club. He's just played so terrible. It's, I just don't understand how bad this guy has played. It's unbelievable how bad he's played um, this season. And this game has showed already. He's just putting us under pressure which has allowed them to still gain possession in this game. And it's 2-1 to Dana McKeever. And this is not what we wanted at all. This is not what we wanted. We didn't start that bad, um, but now we're playing terrible. Let's just demand more, um, which is probably the worst thing for... Wait, why have I changed to very defensive? Uh, let's keep to, possession, to positive. But we managed to have the ball. Simon on the right-hand side... Simon's had a very quiet game. He hasn't done much, but it's Adibayo. He plays it into White. Please, White, finish that, White. No, he doesn't, as always. No, he doesn't, as always. I expect that from White all the time. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I expected that from White. Like, this guy is so terrible. I do not understand how bad he is. We whipped that ball in. Come on, Gigovic. Offside. Wow, offside offside yeah we know you're gonna say offside is fine friggin hell man why couldn't he just leave it right should go man um we're just gonna have to go attacking and just go for it um we're gonna push up the full well the fullbacks are already up already um Right, I'm going to put you as a shadow striker uh, on attack. Six, 70th minute, I've gone 13 shots, 5 on target. This is not the way we wanted to start our first game in the Europa League and in Europe. I guess a 2-1 defeat is not as bad, but we've had chances. Um, let's make another change. Uh, we're going to have to make another change. Do we have another centre midfielder in here? No, we don't. Um, I'm just going to have to put on someone else. That's just... Now, this is the issue now because... <sighs> Lucas Gomez is just four to six weeks of no striker. Because I don't see White as a striker. He's been playing terrible today. Um, definitely can't be dealing with him for next season. Um, he's somebody that will not be at this club again. I can tell you that for sure next season. But the ball is all over. But we managed to get it with... Who's that? Simon. Simon's on the right-hand side. Come on, Simon. Okay, that's a dirty foul. But, okay, we still go on Smith. I'm still expecting... Go on, there you go. By you! I had to just hold myself there because just about to say a bad word. But how did we miss that? And, ref, you need to go back and give that person a yellow card. I don't know how the referee has not given this guy a yellow card, which means he should be sent off. That was a dirty tackle. I'm happy that he played the play on, but that player needs to get sent off. Joke. Joke. Very big joke. Adebayo with the corner. It should be him. Okay, I'm not sure why they're taking so long. Come on, man. Let's get this, let's get this goal, guys, man. Okay, I'm not too sure what's going on here, why we're taking so long. Um, but it's Daniel with the corner. He whips it in. There you go. Just, just 
just to, like why why that's a this their player should have had should have had should have been sent off without a doubt their player should have been sent off joke smith with the ball throws it into gigovic gigovic still has the ball manages to lose it but still catches it gigovic with the ball whips it in okay there you go testy would test 81 minutes have gone and i don't think we're gonna i don't think we're gonna come back in this game a draw would be brilliant now and i think we deserve something out of this game for sure but let's see the grass are with the ball still has the ball but of course as always he's gonna lose the ball and yep it's game over game over game over 3-1 3-1 it's just a joke it's just a joke it's been such a joke 3-1 never a 3-1 game I don't care never a 3-1 game we didn't take our chances today we defended poor um, and some players just didn't turn up so I don't know I think Garanich's time may be over for the rest of the season. I don't see him playing again. I don't think I can play him again. Because after that, he's not giving me any good performances at all. Um, yeah, there's nothing we can do. That's the end of the game there. Dynamo Kiev, three. IFK got Berg, one. We started off decently. I knew that they were going to come in and score some goals. And that's exactly what happened. Um, but we've lost... And that's never a good way to start. <laughs> no, I, I can't even... I can't even say that they played excellently. I can't. Sorry. I, I refuse. I'm not... I don't care. Um, Attacking-wise, I'm disappointed with the quality of your finishing. Midfield. I don't even know why I even said I appreciate that because you look terrible. I'm disappointed with with them that's not a way that we wanted to start at all not at all this is not how we wanted to start wow yep but anyway let's go straight into the schedule and see where we're going to come back um right so we will probably come back for the malmo game so we play quite a few games offline and then we'll come back for the Malmo game but again this is not the result that we wanted again it just shows that inconsistent that's how we are we don't take our chances we are a one-man team when it does come to up front position because Lucas Gomez seems to be our only best striker the rest of them are basically useless um I'm not too sure what to do is there even any point in me even playing a striker should I go strikerless um, it may be the best opportunity, but just up front, I don't know who to play. I cannot rely. I cannot rely on Andy White. Um, and there's nothing else we can do. There's no business that we can do. In fact, you know what? I'm better off even playing a youngster. So maybe that's what I will do for the next game is play a youngster because I'm not sure how we're going to survive all of this without Lucas Gomez. But again, that is the end of today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. This is Football Manager Maniac. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you and bye.